Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're going to be checking out OBS 26.0.2 and what new features are there and get my church set up with that version. So let's go. folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider supporting us on Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Both links are below. So OBS, I like it a lot. <laughs> Talk about it a lot. Have tons of videos about it. And they have updated to version 26.0.2 as of the time of recording. There was a couple of hot fixes that came out recently and they added a bunch of awesome things natively in the program that I've used as plugins. And what I wanna do is kind of walk through what actually has been added to this and then I'm gonna cut over to my church's live streaming system and do a setup and kind of explain um, kind of redo a couple of things that I've talked about, how to use OBS to go to a conference call as well as Zoom at the same time, and just show you just how easy that is now with all of these features. Let's just go over to the live streaming computer the whole time and just do everything there, shall we? All right, so we're here. Let's go ahead and log in to the computer over here. And for those who ask, I am using Google Remote Desktop, I mean Chrome Remote Desktop to get into the system. All right, so let's go ahead. I've already updated to this newer version. And as you can see, let's just go over some of the highlights of what they got in here so far. The number one thing is they have the virtual camera built into the application itself as its own little startup button here. So that's kind of cool. That's one thing here. Normally we would use the OBS virtual camera plugin but now it's built in, it comes with it. So that's awesome. Um, the other thing is if we click over here to our intro video that I have, if I click now, we have a play bar with controls in here. So I can come here and see at what time and just jump to that time right here, which is awesome, which was a part of the media player controls that um, I forgot the developer that I had a video on. Um, now it's built in. It doesn't have as many functions. Well, I think it has pretty much the same function, but his actually lets you change it to what time is remaining and things like that. But it's good that it's there and that's one less plugin that you have to do, making OBS kind of a little bit more streamlined without having to have as many plugins in it. All right, so besides that, let's go through our settings here. And do we have anything that stands out? Uh, no, I don't believe so. I don't see anything. Streaming is still the same. Output is still the same. Audio is still the same. So we're going to um, come back and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. All right. All that. Pretty much everything's the same so far. Haven't really noticed anything. I don't know if that was always there or not, but hey, it's great. So nothing really major. Let's actually... Yay, let's rewind this part back. Now, one thing that I do like how this works now is we can, we're gonna set this up because we've talked about using conference calls with freeconferencecall.com or any other program you decide to use, um, Zoom and other functions like that. So I wanna walk you through how to actually do that again in this video with OBS 2602. So the first thing we're going to do is we're still going to use our VB audio cable because it just makes things a lot easier. So let's go ahead and close this. I already have this downloaded here and we're going to go ahead and install that. We'll run this as an administrator to make sure it can load properly. All right, we're going to install that. Now on this one, it's gonna probably ask for me to reboot, but I'm not gonna do that for right now. All right, so we got this installed. So the quickest way to see if it's there is let's, let's click on this little speaker here and boom, it actually is there. So but what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm still using the speakers 
for the computer so the regular sound comes out the way it normally would. So you're going to get an echo from here. So if I come in here and let's just play a song, and I'm doing this for a purpose. All right. So that is the sound that normally would come out from the speakers that are to the computer. All right. I want you to remember that so we can hear what's going on. Now, just like we talked about before when we did this, we're using the um, VB audio cable to virtually send all the sound into that cable. And then the out, which normally is a speaker, is actually going to be connected to Zoom, um, Microsoft Teams, um, freeconferencecall.com. So we need video out and audio out in the VB cable handles that. I have not noticed anything like that in this new update with um, OBS. I wish they would add that because that would make this easier. But at this rate, you never know. They probably will add it. So we have our Windows system set to play regular sound as usual. Now let's go into OBS. So that's why we can hear the sound right now. We don't necessarily want that, but we do. Let's, let's explain that. Let's go to the settings here. We're gonna go to audio and we have advanced. So monitoring, monitoring is we want to be able to hear it on our side as well as what people on our stream are listening to. So from here, it's set to default, and our default is set to our regular speakers, as you can see here. What we want to do now is change our monitoring device to actually the input of our VB audio cable. All right, that's all we changed. We hit OK, and as you heard, if I unmuted this, we could hear this because we're simulating speakers. If we unmute it now, you can't hear anything, but it is playing. And we can check that out by going to advanced audio. See, we have everything set to monitor and output, but you can't hear it because all of the output is going to the VV audio cable. Now, what we need to do is set everything to those exact same settings. Any video that has audio, we need to do that same thing. So if I come here to my testing screen, we have music. We need to go in here, make sure that's output. And we're going to do that on everything. On our deck link, we need to make sure this is output as well. And I actually changed, upgraded our um, deck link mini recorder to the 4K version. Talked about that in a previous vlog. All right. And we just want to make sure everything else is set that way. So here's our music. Make sure that is. Yep, monitor and output, and then monitor and output. All right, so we're good. So now everything that's, that people are hearing on the live stream, we can hear locally if we were on the, well, excuse me, not that we can hear, is being sent through the VB audio cable. All right, so now, because we did that, let's go ahead and start. First, we need to start our virtual camera. All right, and now let's start with a Zoom. Now, at this point, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna look at video. All right, so we are pointing to the OBS virtual camera that's what it is by name and we're getting the exact same thing that's coming out of OBS so that's good we got that but we need to do audio so now let's go to our audio here and if we set our microphone to the output of the VB audio cable as you see there's activity going on because it's this so if I mute this See, the sound ended, but if I bring it back, so we're getting whatever is going out through OBS is being captured through the, um, the VB audio cable, and that is how sound is going to OBS. We have to make sure everything in OBS is set to monitor and output, and our monitoring device is the VB 
audio cable input. So all of the sound coming from OBS goes into that input. It comes out on whatever program that we set the cable output to, which will normally be your microphone. All right, so at this point, everything on Zoom, everybody will be able to hear anything that's going on in Zoom. That's awesome. We don't need to hear anybody coming back because we don't need to have a loop back. So that's why you don't see me picking the input cable because then it will be a loop. Other thing on, especially Zoom, I turn off auto adjust volume because you want, you don't want anything else adjusting the audio. So at this point, guess what? All we did was install the VB audio cable and we got everything that we need for OBS. Makes it, I mean, for Zoom, makes it really simple. Now, even with this running, we could come in here and also run free conference call or whatever Google Voice, whatever you want to use. Because we're going to do the same thing, but we're not sending audio. We're only going to be capturing. Um, we're not going to be capturing video. We're just going to be sending audio. All right. So just like the same way, we're going to come over here to settings. We're going to go to audio. And we're going to have this set to the output. And as you can see, we're getting audio here as well. So at this point, with just the VB audio cable and additional programs like Zoom and Free Conference Call in my choice, we now can go to Free Conference Call and Zoom and live stream all on the same time. And it works straightforward. Now, I'm using Zoom, but you got to re realize that because the virtual camera and the VB audio cable act like they're a webcam, we could, if you're live streaming to YouTube, you now can get, or if you're streaming to two platforms, you can use OBS to go to one platform and then like YouTube, or actually, or Facebook, they both do the same thing. You can natively in your web browser live stream to them. You just have to pick that device. All right, so let's go ahead and now use the virtual camera that's built into OBS 2602. And let's now, instead of just live streaming with OBS to whatever our given platform using Restream, Splitstream, Cast, or any of those services, let's set this up with all the changes that we've made to another platform like YouTube. All right, so I'm here for the very first thing. I'm actually re-recording this because I had one little issue and I wanted to make it a lot clearer instead of y'all seeing all the um, snafus and everything that I've made through this. So the first thing we're going to do is let's close OBS completely and stop the virtual camera and then close OBS. All right. Now we're going to go into YouTube and we'll do the same thing with Facebook. All right. We're going to go here and set up a go live. We're going to pick web camera. All right, so let's just give this a test title. We just say OBS 2602 test. I'm going to make this private and let's go to next. And see, it's already pointing to here, which is crazy, which I didn't want it to do that. Let's go back here to edit and we want to make sure we're pointing to the right thing. So like right now, this is the issue that I was having before. It keeps picking the wrong capture device. So we're going to come in here and set it to the OBS virtual camera. And then we have it set to our audio. All right. Now, one thing I've noticed here in YouTube, for whatever reason, it flips the image backwards for some odd reason. So I don't know. But anyway, we got it set to point at our OBS virtual camera and we have an audio set up. So let's go ahead and save that. Now let's open up OBS because for whatever reason, even though it's something completely different, the browser does not pick up um, the camera when OBS is open. So let's go ahead and start our camera. And as you can see, we're getting the image. Don't know why it's sending it backwards. I think that's something on um, YouTube side. But either way, if we went live and we are private, All right, see, there you go. We're there. Everything audio is coming through and everything. 
But let's just play around with this just to make sure. I really have no idea why that video is doing something like that. I think it's just um, YouTube, to be quite honest. Because there's no setting specifically to flip that. And we'll show you in the other one how I think it's um, just YouTube. All right. So anyway, you see we're working. It's backwards, but <laughs> it's working. So let's go ahead and stop that. All right. And we'll just dismiss that for now. And we'll come back and edit that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Facebook and do the exact same thing. Let's make sure we stop the virtual camera and then close this. I think this is because of the browser. Let's go here to Facebook. We are going to come in here and do a live. Make sure we pick camera. And see, it picks this one again by default. I don't know why. Um, it's not in the settings of the browser. So let's pick our OBS virtual camera. Our sound is fine. All right. And I'm going to make this a test broadcast that only admins can see. So that way, nobody's getting caught off guard with this. And we got to go pick this stuff all over again. <laughs> all right. So we're set back to the virtual camera from OBS. We are getting the output from the VB audio cable. All right. So we're good. Now that this is all set up, now let's open up OBS. Let's start our virtual camera. And now we're getting our signal and we're getting our audio and then we would start our test and I don't need a title because this is just me testing. All right. And as you can see, see the video on here is fine. So that's why I believe it's something on YouTube side that's having a problem because it shows up <laughs> in the right direction. It's not mirrored here. So I think that is about it um making sure yeah so technically doing something like this you're able to actually live stream to two platforms point obs natively to whatever platform that you want then your other platform you can go and use it over usb just make sure that you, when you do this, like when I just did this, when you set this up, make sure you set it up with OBS completely closed because for whatever reason, it just chokes and it doesn't see your camera inputs or audio inputs appropriately if OBS is already open. Just go ahead and set it up in YouTube. Well, avoid YouTube right now because for whatever reason, it's flipping the audio, I mean the video backwards. But, and you set up all your connections after you have it all set up, then open up OBS and start your virtual camera and boom, there you go. Um, there was no issue with this with free conference call or anything like that because it's just looking at the VB audio cable. But you could also do this with Zoom and that's really cool because we've eliminated a lot of the plugins that we've had to use. And you can, depending on where you want to stream to, what I would do in this scenario because of whatever's going on with YouTube, I would live stream to YouTube from OBS natively and then use the virtual camera to go to Facebook. That way now you can go to both platforms without a problem at all. So hope that helps. Hope that, you know, inspires you and encourage you to upgrade to 2602 on OBS and give you, um, it frees up a lot of things that we had to use plugins for that's now built in. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And whatever method that you decide, you can support us on Patreon or as a YouTube member. Links are below. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.